So what was the move? You, you were telling me you moved to New York too after after Brazil. Yeah, what was in, that process? In um, I started Jiu Jitsu. I trained Jiu Jitsu in in '87 the whole year. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I was doing all the Taekwondo work there in the in the state. But in '88, uh, February of '88. I moved to, to Portugal and then eventually to Paris, France, to compete. Mm. So I went there to do international competition, did very well. I was in the cover of magazines, but my goal was coming to America. So I was in Europe about a year and a half, but thinking, I'm coming to America, I want to be in America. The, mm -hmm. the situation of coming to America is because when I was a kid, I watched the movies, the TV, and then one time I saw... Um, in a magazine, Veja, the name of the magazine, yeah, Veja, yeah, you yeah. probably know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I saw an article with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he was saying, I still have the article in the magazine with me. <laughs> he said that, oh, America is the land of the opportunity, mm. and, he, and for athletes, it's perfect. California is the place to be. And I had that in my mind. Oh, I want to I wanna <laughs> just move to America, like Schwarzenegger did. The dream. Yeah, and then eventually, you know, I was in Paris, France, doing very well. Could I stay there? Mm. But I decided, you know what, I'm going to go in the American embassy and ask for a visa. And I even thought maybe they're not going to give it to me. I'm young and, you know, I, you know I'm just traveling. So I went to the embassy and uh, in Paris, they, they gave my visa. In like one hour, I had the passport oh, with wow. the stamp. I, I had the, the visa. And then I was working for um, somebody over there, a uh, Taekwondo master, and mm. I told him the news, I'm moving to America. He was really sad. He wanted me to stay there. But then I came to America, man, to New York City. Mm. And um, I stayed in New York a, a little bit, did a little work there, secured it. You know, I did uh, waiters, you know, didn't speak much English, checked out the martial arts scene, competed a little bit in point fight karate, mm. did some seminars with some fighters that I knew, met the Graces, by the way. I met the Graces in 1989. They, I saw in a magazine they teach in a seminar, and because I already had trained jiu-jitsu in Brazil, mm. I, oh, the Graces, you know, they're here. Let me check it out. So I came to see Horion. Horion Gracie. Horion Hickson Royce. One of the Valente brothers mm. was in the seminar. He was a blue belt. Wow. Helio. Helio. And I took pictures. There was a, a, those pictures are gold today. Yeah, 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 for sure. So wow. I, met, I met Horion, and then Horion uh, said, look, uh, we are planning to open the first academy in California, Torrance. And so I kept in contact with Horion. He gave me, back then you have the address, you send a letter or, or the <laughs> telephone number, call. There was no Facebook, man. <laughs> no Instagram. No Instagram, right? No nothing. <laughs> so... And then I was doing some freelance writing for the magazines, too. And then, so Horing, oh, let's keep in touch. And so I contacted him. He sent me the invitation, which I still have is in the documentary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, it was, they called the Gracie Brothers back then. It was the Gracie Brothers. So they, they those, opened Those the, were the days, right, when everybody yeah. was together. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So eventually, Horing sent me the invitation, um, my envelope with my name and the Grace's brother announcing going to open the, the academy mm -hmm. September uh, 1990, wow. Torrance, California. Wow. First academy. They, they teach in the garage. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. And uh, so basically, I came to LA after. But then w I was going to get back in jiu-jitsu, but I started thinking, you know, the Graces, they, they're saying that they're going to kill karate and taekwondo and, and everybody's going to get beat up. <laughs> so the, was, the Gracie challenge, right? The, yeah, the Gracie challenge. I was looking at that and I said, look, I'm, I'm taekwondo karate. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but then I accidentally met Joe Machado. Okay. Okay. I, I, I was getting my green car. As soon as I got here, I, I got my green car actually for outstanding skills, special ability, green car, because I was already famous in the magazines. Right, right, right. I saw that in the documentary. So a lot, what, a lot of magazines. Yeah, a lot, mm -hmm. hundreds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I, I went to my lawyer one day, and I sit there waiting for the, for the lawyer to, to take me inside his mm -hmm. uh, office, and I saw a guy looking at me sitting there. And I look at this guy, and I, I thought I knew that guy. I said, I know this guy. And he looking at me, too, just the two of us. Mm -hmm. and, and I think he said, are you the Taekwondo guy? <laughs> and I look at him, you the Jiu-Jitsu guy? He said, yeah, uh, I'm John Machado. You know, in Brazil, we call him Johnny. 
Mm-hmm. You know, Johnny, mm-hmm. Higg and John 